Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me here on Product Perspective. Now it has been almost three weeks since I've actually filmed the video. The last ones were on the SpaceX mission that took off. Um, but today I wanna talk about an iPhone case. So this arrived in the mail. Evu Tech, I believe is how you call it, uh, is the brand. They sent me this iPhone case. This is about a $39 case. You can buy it on Evu Tech, if that's how you say Evu Tech. Um, dot com. That's where you can buy their cases. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max case. They wrote me and said, hey, you want to do a review? And I said, sure, here's what my iPhone is. And they sent it to me. So let's get into the box here. First of all, you can see on the back here, there's actually this phone holder that clips into your vents uh, in a car. And there's little metal plates inside the case so that magnets to that. And you just have this this nice, easy, just magnet on. You don't have to clip it in. You don't have to, whatever. It just makes it easier. Um, and they say it still works for wireless charging and it's somewhat of a good case, so they say. So let's get into here. First of all, it says a 10 foot drop, which that's pretty good. I mean, for a case like this, that's actually pretty good. And it has this advanced composed material, which I guess is supposed to help with that. So I've never heard of Evu Tech cases um, and I, I want to jump in here because I'm actually looking at upgrading my iPhone case. So let's get in here. That's already slit. Huh, okay. So this is that clip part. It's like a little rubbery hard tips there. Plastic. The case is a, uh, I mean, it, I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. It's pretty thin though. I'm kind of surprised for a 10 foot drop test. Um, it's actually pretty thin, the edges. Uh, the back here is like very thin. I mean, under an eighth inch thick. And it's kind of cheap feeling. I was kind of, I was expecting it to feel more like my case here, which is a $29 case. It has aluminum on the outside, thick rubber, clear back case. Um, but this is kind of, kind of cheap feeling. I don't know if I would trust my phone in here. I don't know. But the back does feel good. It's like, it has this nice rubbery feel. Uh, and I like the little logo there, I guess is what it is. So here's the metal plate here. It has some heft to it. I'm guessing that's, guessing that's the magnets. Yep, just like that, pops on and it feels like it would be pretty sturdy. So that'd be cool if that actually did work where it's not just gonna fall off and it actually feels pretty good. So uh, let's see here. This guy pops in, yep, just like that. That'll magnet on the back there and then that will stick into your vent so you can have that facing towards you. Google Maps, whatever you have, Apple Maps. So let's get the phone in here. Pop this guy out. Probably gonna be a little bit dirty. Clean off some of that dirt. Okay, and we'll stick him in here. Oof, kinda of not tighter than I was picturing. I hurt my phone, gosh. This is really tight. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my word, I don't, I don't know guys. Well, oh, okay, I had to slide down some. Ah, there we go. Wow, that is really tight. That's crazy. Well, I mean, honestly, what's this on the phone? Uh, it doesn't feel as cheap feeling and it, it does feel like it's gonna somewhat protect your phone, but it is thin. That's, that's the thing is you can feel how thin that is. Does that actually protect for 10 feet of dropping on these corners? Now you do have somewhat of a bump here to keep your front facing from hitting that down force. This one's a little bit thicker sticking out um, and the back here has plenty for your cameras to protect because it looks like this back is thicker probably because it has those metal plates. So this guy will just pop, kind of sits on there weird like that. And I mean, that's not gonna fall off. So that's gonna, that's gonna stay on pretty tight. I mean, even just to take it off is definitely some force, but you can see it doesn't go on straight. So I'm wondering how those magnets work. It's actually like magneting to the phone somewhat. Um, and I don't know if that's gonna drain your battery, or how that's gonna work, but that's definitely a cool idea to have that in there to where you can just pop that on there. You don't have to worry about that. So, um, and overall, how I would think it would protect your phone. I would say maybe a four star, maybe a three and a half, just cause it doesn't have that really nice rubber feeling either. It's kind of a hard, hardish rubber that kind of slides in your hand, but it's definitely okay feeling. Um, and the color is a little bit bright for me. I wouldn't probably go with that just cause you're going from your iPhone look, which is that dark 
muted green up to the super bright color. Um, but otherwise, I do kind of like the back better than this guy here. How it's just that smooth back with your cameras versus this one kind of messy. You get dirt back there. So I do kind of like solid backs. That's probably what I'm going to end up getting for this. Uh, and you can actually see the little bumps here where the metal plates are just barely. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, EvoTech. It's an okay case, but I wouldn't give it a high, high rating. Uh, I might try it out for a little bit and see what it's like. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, go check out EvoTech. They have several other cases and stuff on there. Maybe this, maybe this helped you if you were going to buy it or if you weren't going to buy it. And thank you, EvoTech, for sending me this case. Um, and have a great day. Guys, stay safe. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be coming out with some more videos here soon. Um, and make sure you guys consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up.